Hi guys, okay, so in the part before, um, I challenged you with a little problem, which was uh, we want to have a list of acceptable um, answers, and we want to compare them every time. We're going to do this lots and lots and lots, so we're going to create a method that deals with it. Um, so hopefully you figured it out. If not, don't worry, we're going to go through it now, and let's see. Um, so I'm going to put it near the top, because I want to keep all my kind of... Um, game ones together. Let's put it after init. Yeah, and there's no reason you can put them in any order. I just like to keep my kind of functional ones at the top and then my gamey ones at the bottom. Uh, so I'm going to say, let's call it check, um, check answer. Okay, let's check answer. Um, and in here I'm going to have the question that's being asked. Oops, and I need self. I almost forgot self. I'm going to have the question as self. Sorry, I'm going to have self. I'm going to have the question that's being asked, and I'm going to have um, answers. Okay, these are going to be the acceptable answers. Uh, okay. And what I'm going to do in here is, oops, I'm going to say, um, well, let's start by making a variable called answer. I'm going to say answer is let's blank to begin with. So it's always going to go through the loop. That way we don't need to repeat the question. And then we're going to say while um, answer not in answers. Okay, so that's going to say is, is answer the right? Yeah, okay. Well, the answer is not in the list of answers. Uh, I should probably come up with a better name, but OK. Um, so well answer, that is the user's answer, is not in the list of answers. It's going to keep on asking uh, answer equals input. And of course, we want to ask the question, so we're going to ask question. All right, and then at the end, we of course we want to return answer, uh, and the reason we want to return it is because we're asking again and again here. So we're not inputting, we're not doing any of the asking here. We're only doing the asking there, and so we can get rid of this. So instead of do you want to enter the cave, I'm going to cut that. I can say self dot check. What did I call it? Check answer. Yeah, terrible memory. Yeah, self check answer. Okay, self, the question is going to be, whoops, do you want to enter the cave? Um, and the answer is acceptable. I'm going to do in a list are going to be yes and no. Okay, uh, and let's Oh, what else would I like to do? I would like to change the input to be lowercase. Okay, so whatever they type, let's change it to be lower, and that way we don't have to worry about capital letters. Okay, now let's see if we get an error there or not. Okay, please enter a name for your character, Chris. Oops, um, and I've never run the outside. Oh, so, so, so inside the new game, we're going to do self dot outside. Okay, sorry. So let's try that again. Okay, so do you want to enter the cave? Just so you can see, I'll move over here. Let's say we say yes. And let's say we say this. So we type anything except yes, in which case it's going to let us have that as an answer. Now, like I said, that's going to be useful because we're going to use this whole idea of self.check answer again and again and again and again. So to save ourselves lots of time, we can just do it up here. Okay, so um, self.check answer. And then here we're going to check our question. So, sorry, pause. Okay, so we check the answer to make sure it's one of the available answers. If it is, then we're going to go on to say if the, ah, and I forgot. Now I need to set up 
answer here and set it equal to self.check answer because we want to return the answer from our code here. Okay, so answer is going to be equal to whatever the final result is. So we're going to say if answer equals equals yes, then we're going to send them into the cave. So we're going to have to define the, the cave. Um, but let's, okay, let's do that. So if answer equals yes, we're going to go self dot cave. Okay, otherwise else is going to say self dot dead. Um, so there's only two answers, so I can just do an else. It's easier. Uh, and let's see, so I need to create then two different methods. One's going to be what happens inside of the cave. Define cave self print you enter the cave. Okay, and the other one is dead. I want to put dead near the top because um, it seems like uh, one that we're going to fall back to a lot. And I'm going to have dead self. Um, so what we're going to do here, first I'm going to say print. Uh, when you say no, your master draws his sword and kills you because he's a nasty man. So if they say no to going into the cave, then the master kills them. And we do the dead method. So we say um, print you are dead. And then we can say, well, we want to ask a question to which there's only two options. So again, we can jump to our special methods of check answer. Check answer. And we're going to just copy this because I'm lazy because it's a yes or no one again. Check answer. Do you enter the cave? And the options are yes or no. And we want to say answer equals check answer. Um, if answer equals yes, again, it's kind of similar to before. Not do you enter the cave, sorry, it should be a problem of copying and pasting. Do you want to start uh, again? If the answer equals yes, then we're going to do self dot new game. So I hope you're getting the idea here. Um, and we don't need an else because otherwise we just want it to finish. Um, we could say something else print game over. Okay, so like I was saying, hopefully you can see how this is kind of all starting to fit together. Um, different paths are going to take you to different methods and we can use certain methods like this check answer thing again and again. We can use the dead method again and again um, for whenever they die. And so we can save ourselves a lot of time compared to a procedural program where we would either have to do it as functions, which would be the nicest solution, or we'd have to hard code everything in line after line. Um, the next thing we're going to move on to then is uh, I'm going to add in a few more rooms. So we've got outside, then they're going to go into the cave, and they're going to have an option to, um, they're going to have different ways that they can get to the special book that I was mentioning up here somewhere. I don't know. Anyway, the magical book they have to collect. They're going to have different options. Um, and 
yeah, depending on those options, they're either going to have to fight or they're going to have to sneak or be lucky. So I'm going to be adding in, what I want you to do then is see if you can add in a couple of things to here for um, attempting to pick locks or attempting to sneak. And what we're going to do is I'm going to have a combat thing. I'm going to make a new class that's going to deal with combat okay it's going to be my sort of combat checker class um and so that's going to be kind of the rock paper scissors idea for fighting just to keep it simple um so maybe you can come up with something like that um but again on the whole of what we're doing here just remember this is just my own little example if you can get it working in another way that's great okay this is just to give you an idea of how it could be done uh, in one method. So uh, stay with us if you want to find out more about what we're doing. Um, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> stay with us if you are, watch the next video if you are ready to go.